Robert Hale. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. I'll be back with today's guest right after this. You've heard us talk about Ag Market Online and how it's growing and changing every day. Now we've shortened the name and made it even easier to find on the web at agsearch.us. It's also easier to find the best ag businesses in the country by state or even by specific type of ag business. And the best news is that it's now easier than ever to get involved and start getting more exposure for your business. Visit agsearch.us to learn more. Walter is with Brevard County Extension in Florida, but he also has his own cow-calf operation, uses a three-way cross, Bramer, Charlet, and Angus. When do you calve out and how'd it go? My particular operation, you know, we just finished calving about two weeks ago. Had zero calves to pull this year. Joe, how do you work that three-way cross? We're using all purebred bulls, doing a crisscross on the cows. How long you been doing that? Oh, I think we started about four or five years ago on that particular cross. Before that, we were primarily Angus and Brahman crosses. How big are your mama cows? Well, probably about a 1,200-pound uh, cow is, is about common. Our cows don't grow quite as large as what you'd have up in the Midwest. We brought some uh, black charlet down from uh, Canada, and uh, the offspring do not get as big as what they did in Canada. What's the reason for that, do you think? I think it's because we have lots of forage, but it's low quality. You feed any hay? If you can get a little bit of rain in the wintertime and you plant cool season forages, a lot of people get by without feeding any hay. Joe Walter talking about his cattle operation in Brevard County, Florida. Thanks for joining us for the Cattleman's Corner. May God bless. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.